Hi, Marshmail12.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to save an image from a URL that you have typed into a box, well, a text field. Um, so, here is just a quick page I have up here. Uh, basically, it's just a name field, the URL, which I've made a little bit longer, and a drop down with um, some extensions. I've just got JPEG and PNG in there just for now, um, but you can add more if you want to. This is just basic, so things like dot jpeg dot png in here I need to have the dot um, but um, you can mess around with stuff like um, so if there's not a dot in this you can concatenate a dot onto that um, it's just basic this tutorial anyway um, this is just the form I have set up um, but I'm going to go straight into the PHP so first of all I'm just going to do an if statement um, like I always do so if is set if the submit button has been pressed and once again another one just to say if not enter um, dollar underscore post um, name and not enter dollar underscore post um, URL uh, we don't really need to put the extension into that because um, JPEGs always going to be selected unless they select PNG. So um, if you put something another option to say please select an extension, then you'd also have to make sure that um, one of these do exist. But as I've said, this is just simple, and um, it's going to stick to just just to basically say this is how to get a URL. Um, you can start out with the uh, the farm and other um, other stuff that you want to do yourself. Um, so now that we've got that, we're going to get the post image name. And once again, because it's something the user types in, even though this is not necessarily going to be going into the database, it's just a um, good habit just to get into just doing this to get rid of any. Uh, MySQL injection just in case you are going to eventually be putting this into a database but if you know you're probably not going to then maybe you don't need to do this but um, it's just a habit I've got into just to put the put that in because most of the time I do work with database um, so then instead of changing post image name I'm going to have the URL um, URL and the post image um, extension in the that capital U and the extension okay so we've got everything that we need um, um, post and um, image name but basically this what we're going to do here is str replace because uh, we don't want any spaces in the uh, image name so um, what we can do, you can leave a space if you want, but I just generally take away any spaces. I just generally don't have any spaces in anything when working. So we're going to search for spaces. We want to replace it with nothing, so basically no space. And what do we want to search? And that is the post image name. Right, so um, we're going to create the raw image now. Um, so this is basically the image from the URL as it is. So file underscore get underscore content um, and then the post image URL can go in there. That will basically get to the image but um, if there is a problem getting that image um, you will get a PHP error up here. So what I like to do is put an at symbol in front of that which blocks out any error message that this line might have and then we can basically say if um, raw image and then we can this is where we're going to do the image saved else um, echo um, error getting image from URL okay and then just above this if we do file underscore instead of get contents this time if we put, put underscore contents 
um, and first of all is where we want to save it so we want to save it in I have got an images folder if I just show you this here this is my index.php and then I've created an image folder obviously nothing's in it yet so there's our images folder um, forward slash can carry it onto that the post image name um, carry it onto that the post image extension so you have the name then followed by the dot jpeg or dot png that's why i said you need the dot in the option um up here um but like i said you can change this to something like um, jpeg like that and then maybe just do some case and switching case and stuff like that but um i'm just going to leave it as that for now well for this tutorial anyway um and then come up and then um what we want to save so basically the raw image okay so that should hopefully work like i said it is very basic and there probably is a lot more security and just general cleaning up of code um that you might want to do but this is just the basic structure of how to actually get the image from a url that is typed and save it as a specified um, extension so let's just try this out so here it is um, I'm just going to go to Google and let's say blah blah um, okay view original image okay this is the URL of the image dot JPEG up there if we copy this into the URL and say blah click save actually if I just make this a bit smaller and bring this up um, you should see that once I click save the image should appear here image saved in the browser and we get that image there saved as a JPEG file in the images folder now just to show you that this works if I just post that back in there and say blah PNG and change this to PNG save image um, okay and there's blah PNG and as you can see down the bottom it does say PNG image so that's how to um, create a basic um, save from URL um, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time